Today I'm going to show you a simplified approach to walleye fishing, uh, fishing windy points on the main part of the lake. Hopefully you can hear me over this wind. Um, I guess the first thing is forget everything that everybody at the bait store, your buddies or other fishermen have told you about walleye fishing. Sometimes we get a little too te technical and confuse everything. But this is just a simple approach. It doesn't really matter what depth the walleye are holding at. We're going to be targeting walleye on the bottom, of course, um, where they mostly are. Um, but anyway, just go to the main part of the lake, the main basin, the windiest part you can get. And if you look, there's the dam right there. That's a good place to start. If you're not sure where to start, just pick the big part of the lake by the dam. See which way the wind's blowing. It's blowing this away. So I picked a point, which a point is just basically a finger of land that juts out into deeper water where you have shallower water on top adjacent with deeper water all the way around it. And it, it, get a, a topo map ideally. You can get an app on your phone, a Navionics app, it's 15 bucks. And you can use that if you don't have GPS on your boat. I got a fish finder on my boat so I can park it right where I want to and I'll, I'll take some screenshots here too of what I'm fishing. And position your boat, you know, I'm out in 19 foot of water now, you know, get 20, 25 foot out where you can cast up onto the point and jig it back to the boat. Ideally, you want to be able to cast, you know, up in three or four foot of water and bring it all the way back to the boat. This point sticks out quite a ways. So I'll have to position a few different times on the, on the point. I'll start out deep and fish the end of it and then keep moving in until I get up to the bank. You know where I can pitch my jig up in three or four foot of water. And then, as far as what tackle to use, typically I'll use a three eighths ounce jig. I like orange. This was orange before the paint got knocked off. And really, any soft plastic you want to use. I, I've been doing real good with the Berkeley Twitch Tail. This is a. Berkeley Ripple Shad at 3 inch. And my boat's in 19 foot of water, and I'll just cast as far as I can up shallow. And it helps too when it's real windy like this to, to cast straight downwind of the boat. Which I'm not straight downwind of the boat. But anyway, let your jig hit the bottom. It takes a bit sometimes. And then just pick it up off the bottom, let it fall back to the bottom. This I call snap jigging. You want to make sure you hit the bottom every time. And if you can't feel the bottom, put a bigger jig on. You know, if I can't feel the bottom, I'll move up to a half ounce, three quarter ounce, whatever I need to do. And if there's no wind, I'll probably use a quarter of an ounce jig. Just jig it all the way back to the boat. And at, at the end of this video, I'll show I'll show the different lures that I like to do this way. And typically, they'll smack it on the fall. You'll feel a little tick. Or when you pull it up, you'll feel some weight on there like that. It's either the fish or the bottom. And then keep an eye on your fish finder too. Even though I'm 19 foot deep and the bait store will tell you all the water are 4 to 7 feet deep in this lake, or the active ones anyway, if you see some walleye on your fish finder, and I'll show a screenshot too of what they look like, fish right below the boat. You know, my wife enjoys fishing straight down. So a lot of times, oh, there's one right there. First cast. I saw those fish on the fish finder, which they just show up really as a lump on the bottom, and I'll fish straight down. Now you should be able to see my trolling motor up front. It's on spot lock right now, or anchor I think motor guide calls it. 
I'm at, the GPS is holding my boat in one spot. If you don't have that, don't worry about it. I carry marker buoys, you know, did this long before I had the fancy trolling motor. Just take a marker buoy and you just pitch it out to mark your spot. And it'll sink and stay right there. And then just stay on your electric trolling motor and keep your boat in that general area. You know, it just gives you something to reference off of or, or toss out an anchor. Out in the deep water again, I'm casting as far as I can up into the shallow water, perfectly downwind of the boat. That way I can feel my lure because if you go crosswind, it's harder to feel. Letting it sink all the way to the bottom and then just jigging it back off the bottom. Make sure it taps the bottom every time. Dink, I feel it hit the bottom, I jerk up, pull some line up. Dink, snap, pull up some line. And remember, if you can't feel the bottom, put a bigger jig on. While I are not scared to hit a three-quarter ounce jig. You'll miss, them, you'll miss more fish because they can't suck the jig in as easy. But you'll feel more of the bite. So in the end, you'll end up catching more fish. Use as light of a jig as you can, but where you can still feel the bottom. Like right now, 3 8 ounce. If I go any lighter, I'm going to be able to feel the bottom. Go half, I'll be able to feel the bottom, but I'll miss a few more fish. I'm just jigging it all the way back to the boat. Don't worry about if they're in four foot of water or seven foot of water, I don't care. I'll catch plenty of walleye out deep in this lake, but don't tell anybody. advantage this technique offers over what most people do at this lake. See that boat right there? They're just trolling back and forth, back and forth, back and forth over the shallow high spot. Uh, the point, the finger sticking out, whatever you want to call it. Um, and you're eventually going to scare the fish. Well, I'm off of the fish, casting to the fish, and it's less apt to scare them. I could sit here all day and I should never scare the fish off by driving over them 50 times like those people are doing and then another thing too is i'm not just working four feet deep like they are i'm working four feet deep all the way to 17 feet deep so i'm going to catch all the fish that they're staring off of that point or the fish that are lazing around not moved up onto the point well i didn't catch any um it's worked every day i've tried it except for the day i go to do a tutorial so anyway i got some clips actually a couple clips probably of this spot right here where i caught a couple nice walleye i'll show after this so if you want to stick around and see some clips of various fish i've caught using this technique in lakes in kansas and missouri just hang tight thanks for watching